reclaiming and reconnecting to your wholeness. So just every part of yourself. Yeah, Trish. Yeah, Dr. Trish. She's the best. Um, and then, yeah, let's just, that sounds, that sounds good. Let's go with that. We have two teachers in class today. So Victoria's here. You guys, most of you know Victoria. She's here all the time. Um, she teaches Fridays at 1030. And then Rachel is here as well. She teaches Saturdays at 1030. So you haven't met them. There they are. <laughs> all right. Let's just practice. So find a comfortable seat. And you guys know I like to move a little bit, get some physical feedback before I settle in. So feel free to get your wiggles out, to stretch a little bit, move around a little bit. And then whenever you are ready, just find stillness in your body. <clears throat> so eventually, just let your hands come to rest somewhere in some way, intentionally, maybe in your lap, maybe hands to heart, maybe one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Close your eyes and begin to just really fully arrive here in this space. So we've made it here physically. Now allow yourself to be here mentally, energetically, emotionally. So really notice everything that is present in the here and now. So as simple as just feeling the ground underneath you, the air on your skin. Maybe you start to feel into the rise and fall of your breath. Maybe you notice physical sensations inside and even emotions that might be present for you this morning. And next time you breathe in, just fill up as big as you can. When you think you are full, see if there's even an extra little sip you can find at the top. And then big open mouth sigh, let it go. Ah, good. Again, just like that. Great big inhale, fill up. Hold at the top. Maybe an extra little sip or two. And then open your mouth, let it go, sigh it out. Ah. One more. So biggest inhale you've taken all morning long. Take a pause in fullness. See if you can keep holding your breath, but relax and soften just a little bit around your held breath. And then as you are ready, open your mouth and big release, big sigh. Ah. Seal your lips now and begin to drop into your ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. The inhale is like you're taking a really, really deep, slow motion gasp. So you feel it, you hear it as it moves through the back of your throat. But it's coming all the way down from your diaphragm. Exhale is like you're fogging up a window, but your lips are sealed on top of the breath. So essentially, you're fogging up a window on the inside of your body. You're starting to build a little bit of heat inside just by breathing. So you are more than welcome to stay here longer, stay here the whole entire class if you want. You would probably actually get a lot out of that. So no judgment, stay as long as you would like. If you are ready to move, you might start moving from your seats, just kind of exploring, getting curious in your upper body, maybe even taking your arms up or stretching your side bodies, twisting. Eventually, my friends, we'll all come forward to hands and knees. So please take your time. No hurry whatsoever. But once you are on hands and knees, just anything that feels good or feels interesting or maybe even feels a little bit of an uncomfortable. So you can move towards those hard edges. You can breathe into them, soften around them. Notice what feels tender, what feels sore. 
and then use your big spacious breaths to guide your movement. So you're not rushing through anything and you're not even trying to get anywhere. There's no goal. There's no destination. You're just feeling, you're just experiencing being in your body, connecting to your breath. You're just noticing how you feel this morning, how you woke up this morning. How do your shoulders feel? How does your spine feel? How do your hips feel? So see if you can come out of your head, out of your thinking, talking, judging mind, and just feel your body, feel your breath as it flows through you. Big, spacious, slow, steady. Good, everyone. So I'm going to say about four or five more rounds here. And then eventually, downward facing dog is where we'll all end up. So you can start your transition back to down dog whenever you are ready. Good. Nice job, everyone. Beautiful movement. And once you are back in your dog pose, just keep feeling around. Keep exploring. Maybe give your heels a nice little pedal out. Maybe give your hips a little sway from side to side, shift from side to side. Give your head a little shake or a little nod. So in especially this first down dog, don't worry about getting your legs straight. Don't worry about getting your feet flat on the ground. If that feels good to work your legs straighter, to press your heels towards the ground, awesome. But that is not the goal. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to. Sometimes I like to bend my knees a lot and then focus on lengthening from your fingertips all the way up to your sit bones. Imagine there is an invisible rope attached to your belly button and it's literally pulling up and tugging back. You'll feel a lift that comes from your center. Feel your big, deep breath, slow, steady, spacious. Nice job, everybody. Take a couple more rounds in your down dog. And then whenever you are ready, just start to crawl your hands all the way back to the back of your yoga mat until you find yourself in a forward fold. So eventually, everybody meet in a forward fold, back of your mat, no rush. Once you are in your fold, hang out for a few breaths. So I personally like my feet about hips width distance apart, maybe even a little wider for this first one. You can grab opposite elbows if you'd like for ragdoll and kind of sway or bounce or bob. Yeah. So really let your head be heavy. See if you can feel that connection to center, that invisible rope. It's still attached to your belly button. It's pulling straight up. So even if you have a big bend in your knees, lift your butt as high as you can and feel that connection to your center. Feel your core engage. See if you can feel your breath in your back body. Visualize your breath moving all the way down the backs of your legs. Take one more round. As you inhale, halfway lift position. So spine long, get all the rounding out of your back, lengthen. Exhale, let it go, refold all the way to empty in your breath. Halfway lift, one more time. So top of your head reaches forward, tops of thighs press back, sit bones broaden. Exhale, fold, release. And then this time we'll come through our halfway lift and take it all the way up to stand, arms to the sky as you inhale, hands to heart as you exhale. Good job, friends. Flow with your breath for a moment. Inhale, high mountain, stretch tall. Hinge at your hips, slow dive. So stick your butt out, reach your heart forward, then let it go. Good. Relax your neck at the bottom. Halfway lift position as you inhale, gaze down so the back of your neck is long. It's an extension of your spine. Nice, Leah. Exhale, release, fold. 
Press into your feet, lead with your heart, connect to your center, rise. Arms to the sky, big full body stretch. Nice cam, hands to your heart center as you exhale. One more time, just like that, it's your half sun salute. So much awareness, inhale, reach up and stretch. Maybe try closing your eyes as you dive down slowly. So feel your body moving through space from the inside out. Inhale, halfway lift position. Feel into that length and even strength in your back body. Good. Exhale, let it go. All the way to empty in your breath. Fold. Press into your feet. Lead with your heart. Take it up. Arms to the sky as you breathe in. High mountain. Nice, Victoria. Hands to heart. Exhale. Ah, all right. Inhale, take your arms up. And let's exhale, hands behind our back, interlace our fingers. So roll your shoulders back and down, shoulder blades squeeze your spine. See if you can reach your hands back and maybe even lift your heart up, ease up. Press your hips forward, but hug in with your inner thighs. Take one more big inhale. Nice, Jane. Keep your clasp, exhale, hinge at your hips all the way down into your fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to and lift your sit bones as high as you can. Lift your knuckles as high as you can. See if you can let your head be heavy. Give your head a little shake, a little nod. Good job. Take one more big inhalation. Feel that opening in the front of your shoulders. Work that opening. As you exhale, hands to your low back, release your clasp, let your arms hang down. You can give them a nice little shake out. You can let them dangle. Good job, friends. Find your breath and inhale to your halfway lift position. Realign your spine. As you exhale, plant your hands or your fingertips and crawl slowly, mindfully to the top of your space. You'll be in a plank pose. So coming into your plank, shoulders over wrists, hips level with shoulders, spread your fingers and actively push the ground away. See if you can just take little baby rocks forward and back. So like you're sawing through a piece of wood with your body. So you're rocking up onto your tiptoes. Yes, and then pressing your heels back. Good, your position doesn't change. The engagement of your core stays. Take one more big inhale, that little tiny rock forward or come down to your knees if you'd like. Exhale, lower halfway down. Strong arms, strong belly, inhale, push back up, high plank. Yes, one more like that. Exhale, little rock forward, lower halfway, chaturanga, hold. And then inhale, high plank, push up. Exhale, slow as you can go all the way down to your belly. Find Spider-Man Cobra with your inhalation. So hands out nice and wide, up on your fingertips, elbows face the sky. Inhale, lift your heart. And then on an exhale, take a little twist to your right side. Dip your left shoulder down. Inhale, back to center. Lift your heart, tone your belly, press through your shoelaces. Exhale, other side, take a little twist. Inhale, back to center, and you can choose one more time each way or any other back bend you would like to take. So feel free to give yourself a different heart opener if you want to. No rush, take your time, and when you are ready, downward facing dog is waiting for you. <sighs> Once you're back in your dog pose, reconnect to your big, spacious ujjayi breath. Good job, friends. And then just quickly, while you're in down dog, if you would like a hands-off practice today you do not feel like being touched or getting physical adjustments that's totally fine I do not take it personal but just give me one leg in the air as a little signal okay thank you back to down dog a few more breaths and if you want to lift one leg and then the other leg just to stretch and feel around go for it so ujjayi strong powerful Ujjayi means victorious breath. So 
What does victorious breath feel like in your body? Can you connect to that? Can you embody that? Take one more big inhale into your down dog. Lift your hips a little bit higher as you push the ground away. This time, exhale, look to the top of your space. However you want to get there, forward fold, top of your yoga mat. Once you have arrived, halfway lift position, breathe in and lengthen. Exhale, bow and fold. Ah. Press into your feet, lead with your heart, rise all the way up, big, huge stretch at the top. Hands to heart as you exhale. All right, inhale, take your arms up. And then exhale, sit back into a chair pose, Utkatasana. So weight in your heels. See if you can pick up your toes and spread them apart. Yeah. So as you sit back, keep your heart lifted. Keep your belly toned. Good. If your feet are not already hips with distance apart, bring them hips with distance apart. Take one more round of breath in your chair. And then end of your exhale, we will twist. Left hand comes down in between your feet to the ground or a block. Right arm to the sky. If you want to keep your left hand kind of forward of your toes, that's totally fine as well. And then use your breath to twist a little further. So inhale, find length in your spine from the crown of your head back to your sit bones. As you exhale, see if you can work your twist and sit a little bit lower. If the half or the full bind is calling to you here, if it's in your practice, you're welcome to go there. See if you can take about two or three more rounds. This pose, I know it's uncomfortable. I know there's a lot going on. See if you can be with it, breathe into it, soften around it. Take one last full breath. Awesome, Kirsten. End of your exhalation, slowly unwind, forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to to wrap your peace fingers, your index finger and middle finger around your big toes. So grab hold and then keep holding onto your toes. Inhale to a halfway lift so you can keep your knees really bent, but press back through the tops of your thighs, reach forward through the crown of your head. Exhale, fold, crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky. Use the leverage of your arms to gently fold deeper. So your elbows might reach out to the right and left, and then feel that space in your upper back. See if you can lift your butt higher. See if you can breathe down the backs of your legs. Yes. Thanks, Christine. Take one more full round. Good work. End of your exhale. Release your fingers from your toes. Take one more halfway lift. Realign your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Plant your hands. Feet back to plank. This time, we're going to move into a side plank. So from your high push-up position, either roll onto your right foot, the baby toe edge, or right knee can absolutely come down to modify. If you're taking care of your wrist. You want to come down to your forearm. Please feel free. Nice, Hannah. So lift. If your bottom knee is not on the ground, lift your hips as high as possible. So the higher your hips go, the less weight you will be holding in your wrist and your shoulder. You want to use your right side abdominals, those oblique muscles. Awesome, Sarah. Maybe your left leg floats up. Maybe your left arm reaches forward. So your fullest expression, whatever that looks like for you today, feel into it. One last huge breath. And end of your exhale. Awesome, Rach. Come back to a plank or a modified plank. Take an inhale at the top to prepare, find your strength. And then exhale to slowly lower down. Ah. Stay on your belly and find a low cobra, baby cobra. So you're using just the strength in your back to lift you up rather than your arms. See if you can keep your heart lifted this high. Float your hands up, reach your hands back. Try not to lift your feet up this time. So rather than using your glutes, you're going to use all back strength. Press down through the tops of your feet and through your pelvis. Lift your heart higher. It helps me if I bend my elbows. And imagine my elbows are magnetized behind my back. So you can try that if you want. See if you can find your mid-back muscles. Lift, lift, lift. One more inhale. Awesome. Good trace. Exhale. Let it go. Ah. Come up to your hands and your knees. Tabletop position. And then from tabletop, 
If you would like to take a moment, just kind of neutralize your spine, couple cat cows, little movement through your hips, feel free. Eventually, you'll take your right arm forward and your left leg back for a spinal balance. So when you are ready, right arm forward, left leg back, long, strong, powerful line. So thumb faces up, palm faces in. It's like you're going to shake somebody's hand. And with your back leg, hips are square. Press with your back foot like you're stomping it on an invisible wall behind you. Rather than a smiley face shape, go for a strong, straight, powerful line of energy. Feel your navel pulling in and up towards your spine. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, slow motion, elbow to knee like you're moving through honey. Scoop out your belly, round your spine. Nice, Jane. Inhale, long, strong, and powerful again. Exhale, slow motion, elbow to knee. Curl in, hollow out, empty out. Inhale, re-extend. And just one more time, elbow to knee underneath you. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, listen. Right arm reaches back. Left heel towards your left butt cheek. So bend your left knee, heel towards your butt cheek. Press into your left fingertip. See if you can lift your heart. Look forward. Maybe this is where you stay. If it is available, grab your ankle or the top of your foot. And once you've got it, gentle leverage, kick and pull. So kick foot in the hand, pull hand back into foot. Hug in with your inner thighs to stay out of your low back. Breathe down into your low belly. Soften your face. One last huge breath. See if you can spread your toes as you hold your foot in your hand. Yes, slowly, intentionally release, find spinal balance, inhale, neutral, reach. Exhale, set everything down, good job. All right, take your right leg out to the right now, toes face forward, heel come straight out from your hip, left arm out to the left, and then all the way up to the sky, breathe in, you can lift to your right fingertips if that helps. Exhale, thread your left arm underneath, so reach as far as possible, and then come down to rest on the outside of your shoulder, outside of your head, just nice and gently. Good. Variations are welcome. So if you want to, you might wrap your right arm behind your back. You might push into the ground with your right hand. Breathe into your back body a lot. Take about two more deep breaths. All right, my friends, if you happen to have your right hand lifted, bring your right hand back to the earth. And then on an inhalation, unthread your left arm. Reach it out and up one more time as high as you can. And then left hand comes down. Pick up your right foot and swing your right toes off the left side of your mat. Pull your hips a little bit to the right. And then gaze back over your left shoulder. See if you can look back at your tiptoes. Maybe you even want to peekaboo under your left armpit, kind of round your spine. Maybe you rock a little forward or back. So feel into it. Feel around. See what you can get out of it. Take one last huge breath. Nice, Leah. And then back to a tabletop. Back to downward facing dog. Ujjayi breaths. All right. From your dog pose, inhale your right leg to the sky. And feel free if you want to open your hip or if there's any movement that would feel good, feel free to take it. In your next couple rounds or so, square off your hips. So inner thighs face each other, and I do not care at all how high your right leg is, but I do care that there's length, strength, and power in your right leg. So make your right leg strong, make it support itself. Act it through your right foot, and squeeze through the front of your right thigh. Take one more big inhale, lift from your center, push the ground away. Exhale, right knee to your nose, scoop out your belly, round your spine, and step forward so softly. You're in a low lunge. Stay low for now. Left hand on the ground or a block, right arm to the sky. So you're in a revolve lunge. 
stay in your twisted lunge here, breathe here. Or if you want, you can play with rooting into your front foot and stepping your back foot forward, twisted chair. We were here a few moments ago. Step back, twisted lunge. Do that a few times and try to make that movement slow and intentional rather than just flinging your foot forward and back. Feel a connection to your center. Good, nice job. I love what I'm seeing you guys. If you are playing with that stepping forward, stepping back, find your way back into your twisted lunge. Everybody take one more deep breath. And of your exhale, let it go. Walk your hands over to the left long edge of your mat, parallel your feet, straighten your legs. Inhale to a halfway lift position. And then pause here in your halfway lift. Bring your right hand to the ground or to a block. And then left arm to the sky. So twisting towards the back of the room. You can stay here if you'd like a little bit more. Right hand might grab the outside of left ankle. Left arm can wrap behind your back. Keep length through the backs of your legs and length through your spine. Yeah. If you've got your right hand on the outside of your left ankle, use that as gentle leverage to work your twist. Everybody take about one or two more deep breaths. Good work. Very end of your next exhalation. Slowly unwind. And we're going to walk our hands all the way back up to the top of our yoga mat. Come back into a low lunge position, and this time rise up to a crescent lunge. So stand up. Good. Legs are strong. Front hip is energetically pulling back. Back hip is energetically pulling forward. And then a little tone in your belly. So lowest, deepest abdominals are engaged to support your low back. Lift your heart. Lift your gaze. Find your breath and just feel yourself in this pose in this moment, in this space. Thanks, Hannah. Take one more big inhale, maybe reach just a little bit higher. As you exhale, bring your hands down to your front thigh. Prepare for your balance. So draw your belly button in and up. Feel that connection to your center. As you're ready, lean forward and just let your back leg float off the ground. So long, strong, powerful line from the crown of your head to your left heel. You can stay here or take your right arm forward. So right arm forward, left leg back. Yes, you can stay here or one more inhale here. Exhale, right elbow, left knee, round your spine, hollow out your belly. We just did this, but you're balanced on one foot now. No big deal, inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee, ha. Slowly, intentionally, one more, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, elbow to knee. Everybody inhale your fullest expression of your warrior three, whatever that looks like. Forward fold, step down at the top of your mat. And give your right leg a little shake out. Yeah, whoo. <laughs> You might give your right hip a nice little love tap or pounding. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Let's bring our big toes to touch, little gap in between your heels. Tuck and curl, tiny little potato bug ball. You'll get nice and small, curl in. You can leave your heels on the ground to work ankle flexibility, or you can pick your heels up and lift them as high as you can to work more strength. Breathe into your back body. Find your very center at the bottom of each exhale. Couple more rounds. Get small and compact as you exhale. Good job, nice cam. Inhale, let's find our halfway lift. So set your heels down, lengthen your spine. You can widen your stance if you want, up to you. And then exhale, fold and release. Take it all the way up, arms reach up, stretch tall. Hands to heart center, exhale. All right, inhale, arms to the sky. Sit back into your chair pose, weight in your heels. Take a moment as you sit back. 
Feel a connection to your center, navel to spine. A little lift in your heart, nice reach. Soften your face, so not straining, not stressing out. Find a little bit of softness, take one more deep breath. Your feet are not already hips width distance, make that adjustment and then we'll find our twist. Right hand in between your feet, left arm to the sky. If you like your right hand a little forward of your toes, no big deal, totally fine. If you wanna use a block under your right hand, awesome. So whatever you need to make this pose work better in your body and then be with it, breathe into it. It's so uncomfortable, I hate this pose to be honest, but that's why we're here practicing. We're learning to sit with discomfort. We're learning to do things that we don't always like. Breathe through them. So give yourself about two more rounds. You can take the half or the full bind if that's in your practice. Knees are nice and flush, nice and even with one another. Both sit bones reach back. Weight is in your heels. Work your twist with your exhalations. Last round of breath. Good job, let it go forward, fold. I know it's so hard. All right, this time, bend your knees as much as you need to to bring your arms to the outsides of your legs and hands behind your ankles, forearms behind your calves, elbows behind your knees. So I personally have to bend my knees a lot to get here. And then once you've got your arms, Start to press arms into legs, legs back into arms, and lift your butt up, 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 up. Move your inner thighs back, wide, and apart. Breathe into your back body. Breathe down the backs of your legs. This is an active forward fold. You're working it deeper, breath by breath. Take about two more rounds. It's meant to be intense. You're meant to feel something, so let yourself be in sensation. Good job, end of your next exhale. Release your arms, halfway lift, realign, lengthen out. And exhale, plant your hands, feet back, plank. Pause in your plank, side plank. Left hand is your foundation this time. So roll onto the baby toe edge of left foot or left knee can come down, left forearm can come down if you're taking care of your wrist. So you do you. If your bottom knee is not on the ground, the higher you can get your hips, the more that's going to let your abdominals take on the weight of this pose. So if you feel a lot in your wrist and your shoulder, see if you can figure out how to use your side abdominals more. Maybe float your right leg up. As you float your right leg, lift your hips higher. Maybe reach your right arm forward. So your personal fullest expression, doesn't matter what anyone else's pose looks like, feel your pose. One more deep breath. Nice, Jane. End of your exhale. Awesome, Cam. Plank or modified. Big inhale at the top of your push-up. So feel the strength as you push the ground away. And then exhale, slowly lower. Good. And then staying low again. Baby cobra to begin. Just lift your chest using back strength. And then this time, float your hands up. Reach your hands back just like we did before. Float your feet up, reach your toes back. So this time going into full locust, hug in with your inner thighs. Try not to let your legs come out wide, hug them in. Awesome, Sarah. You can stay here, or if you'd like, option to interlace your fingers behind you and use your big fist to lift your heart a little bit higher. Wherever you are at, breathe all the way down into your belly. Feel the length in the back of your neck so you're not cranking your neck up. It's an extension of your spine. One last big full body breath, float higher. Nice, good, Tracy, let it go. Take a moment to just relax on your belly. You can shimmy your hips a little bit or windshield wiper your shins. And then come up to hands and knees. And if you want to move a little bit from there, a couple cat cows or anything else, quick child's pose, go for it. From hands and knees, we'll find a spinal balance with our left arm forward and right leg back. So if you're there, you're ready. Left arm forward, right leg back, spinal balance. That's the first step. So inner thighs face each other a little bit. Ooh, yep, just like that. And then just like you're going to shake somebody's hand, 
Your palm faces in, thumb faces up. Not a smiley face shape. So if you're in a smiley face shape, it's not inherently bad or wrong, but we really just wanna work to feel that connection to our center. So draw your belly button in and up, almost like you're puffing up your low back. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee like you're moving through molasses. Slow, smooth, intentional. Inhale, re-extend, long, strong, powerful. Exhale, elbow to knee, curl in, hollow out. Inhale, get long, one last time. Exhale, elbow to knee, ha, all the way to empty, navel to spine connection. Inhale, re-extend, and then work towards your half bow. Left arm reaches back, heel towards your butt, bend your right knee, lift your heart. If it is available, you don't have to force it. Grab hold of your foot or your ankle, and then once you've got it, gentle leverage to work your pose. Hug in with your inner thighs so you're not crunching into your low back. You want to feel the mobility in your mid and your upper spine. Lift your heart and open. Spread your toes. Breathe down into your belly. Take one more full round. Good work. End of your exhale. Release, re-extend, neutralize just for one inhale. And then let it go. Exhale. Good job, friends. Left leg straight out to the left. Heel comes straight out from your hip. So you don't want your foot behind your body or in front. You want it straight out. Right arm out to the right and then all the way up to the sky as high as you can reach. Inhale. Exhale, thread it through. Come down to rest gently outside of your shoulder, outside of your head. And just feel what's there. Breathe into what's there. Respond to what's there. So this side, it might feel completely different than the other side. Maybe you do something completely different than you did on the other side. So this practice, in my opinion, it's not just about going through the motions. It's not just about doing the poses. It's about feeling into every single position, every single transition, every single space inside of our body. So we're just in the pose, we're just in the shape, and we're tuning out, we're missing the yoga. We're just going through the motions. So if you're showing up on your mat, really show up. Last big deep breath. And then if you do happen to have your left hand lifted, bring your left hand back to the ground. On an inhalation, unthread your right arm, reach it out and up one more time, maybe a little higher. And then right hand comes down, pick up your left foot and swing your left toes off the right side of your yoga mat. I like mine tucked under so I can push into the ground. Some people I notice untuck theirs. You can try that if you want. Pull your hips to the left and then gaze back over your right shoulder, even underneath your right armpit. So kind of feel around and try to get all the juice out of this pose. I even like to take my left, or excuse me, I guess it's my right heel into my left quad muscle and kind of give myself a little massage there. So you can get really creative. Okay, one more round. Good. And then back to a tabletop. Back to downward facing dog. All right, inhale, left leg to the sky. Feel free if you want, open up your hip or explore anything that's calling to you. But eventually, square off your hips. So most of us don't love square hips because our leg can't go very high with our hips square. So if you can let go of taking your leg high, and just make it strong, powerful. So if I came over, try to push your leg down, it wouldn't even move. It's so strong as it's floating through space. Take one more big inhale, press up with your left foot, press down through your fingertips, lift from your center. Exhale, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly, round your spine, and like you're stepping over something, step forward softly, low lunge. Staying low, right hand on the ground or a block, left arm reaches up for your twist. 
So work your twisted lunge and hold. Stay here, breathe here. Or if you want to play a little bit, root into your front foot. Step your back foot forward. You'll be in a twisted chair. Step your right foot back. You'll be in a twisted lunge. You can do that a couple of times or so. See if you can move slowly and intentionally. So not just flinging your foot forward and back with momentum, but connecting to your center. Feeling every little part of your body engaging. Yes. Awesome, you guys. If you're playing with stepping forward and back, come back into your low lunge, or excuse me, your revolve lunge. And we'll all take one last big deep breath. Work your twist with your exhale. End of your exhale. Unwind. Walk your hands over to the right long edge of your yoga mat. Parallel your feet. Straighten your legs. Halfway lift. Breathe in. And then left hand on the ground or to a block. Right arm to the sky. Twist. So stick your butt out, reach the ground of your head forward. There's lots of length in your spine, lots of length in the backs of your legs. If you want to take it a bit deeper, reach your left hand back to grab the outside of right ankle and perhaps wrap your right arm behind your back. Yes. Feel your connection to center. Good job. Couple more rounds in your pose. End of your next exhalation. Let it go. And this time we're just going to hang out in a wide-legged straddle, wide-legged forward fold. So a few rounds, anywhere you'd like to take it. You can hold and breathe, or you can play headstand, handstand hops. Anything goes. Good, everybody. So rather than going off somewhere else, which I know is tempting, see if you can stay here. Stay in your body. Stay with your breath. Stay with sensation. So rather than tuning our body out and telling it what it's saying is not important, we're tuning in. We're starting to build a relationship. We're starting to say to our body, I'm listening. What are you trying to tell me? Use your breath. Last couple rounds. Good job, my friends. With your next inhalation, find a halfway lift position. Fingertips on the ground and just crawl your hands to the top of your space as you rotate your toes forward. So you're back in a low lunge. And then we're going to rise up to a crescent lunge. So strong legs as you rise. Nice, Jane. Front hip pulls back, back hip pulls forward. So the femur bones, they're plugging into the hip sockets. Tone your belly and get out of your low back. So if it feels like you're just sitting in your low back, navel the spine, almost like you're knitting your front ribs together. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Feel the energy you've been moving through your fingers. Feel your personal expression of this post today. Maybe you've done it a million times. How does it feel today in this moment? One more big inhale. Good job, you guys. Exhale, hands to your front side. Lean forward. Navel to spine. So preparing for your balance by connecting to your center. Lean forward even more when you're ready and float your back foot off of the ground. You're in a warrior three variation. So you can stay right here. You're perfect. Hold here. If you would like, left arm forward. So left arm forward, right leg back, just like a spinal balance. Take one more inhale. You can hold here or exhale. Elbow to knee, curl in. Round, hollow out. Stay connected to center. Inhale, lengthen. Like you're moving through honey, elbow to knee, exhale. Slow, intentional, inhale, reach. One more time, you got this, elbow to knee. Ah, get as close as you can. Good, inhale, lengthen, everybody, your personal fullest expression. And then we'll meet up, forward fold, nice and easy, step down. Give your left leg a little shake out. Ah. Give your left hip a nice little love, pounding if it needs it. Big toes touch, little gap in between your heels, tuck and curl. 
So tiny little potato bug ball, get small, curl in. Your choice to lift your heels or work them down. So I can't press my heels to the ground. I don't have the flexibility in my ankles, but I can press them towards the ground. So find your own personal variation and then be with it, breathe into it. Feel everything there is to feel there. One more deep breath. Inhale to a halfway lift, heels down, spine long. Exhale, fold, ha. Root through your feet all the way to stand. Big, huge stretch at the top. Breathe in. And the heart center. Breathe out. All right, my friends. We are playing with a balance pose. Twisted dancer. So you're going to root into right foot. Bend left knee. Heel towards your butt. Reach your right hand back and grab hold of your foot. Once you've got it, kind of come back into alignment. So hug in with your inner thighs and perhaps reach your left arm up. If you want to stay here, you might take your left hand to grab your left foot as well. And this can be your pose today. Otherwise, left arm up. Keep holding your right or keep holding your left foot with your right hand and then start to hinge at your right hip. Keep foot in the hand, pull hand back to the foot. Head in with your inner thighs. See if you can lift your heart like you're doing a little baby cobra pose. Good. Your fullest expression. Feel your breath. Every little space. One last round. Very nice. Nice, Victoria. Let's slowly come back to a high mountain. So nice and easy. Release. Feet to the ground. Arms to the sky. Inhale here. Exhale. Slow dive down. Ha. Halfway lift. Breathe in and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, move through your vinyasa however you would like this time. Good, everybody. Back in your down dog. Ujjayi breath. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Everybody open your right hip this time. And then option only if you want to flip your dog. Right foot comes down behind you. Right arm forward, heart forward, lift your hips. Yes. Breathe down into your belly. See if you can let your heart look at the front wall. One last breath. Come back, everybody. Regular downward facing dog. Walk it out. Inhale, dog pose. Exhale, look to the top of your space. Step, tiptoe, or hop forward, fold. Halfway lift with your inhalation. Exhale, bow, let it go. Ah, root through your feet all the way up. Arms reach. Yeah, it's so hard. I feel. So one more time with our twisted dancer. Left foot is your base this time. Right knee bends, heel towards your butt. Reach your left hand back to find your right foot. And then realign. If you know I want to stay right here, maybe you reach your right hand back and just work this quad stretch. Perfectly fine. Otherwise, keep holding your right foot with your left hand, right arm to the sky. Little bend in your standing leg is often helpful. Start to hinge at your hips as you kick, foot in the hand, hand back into foot. You might feel like you're so ski wampus. That's part of it. Just keep working towards your balance. Keep hugging towards midline. Let yourself fall out. Come back in when you're ready. Be compassionate. Be playful. Good. Hug in with your inner thighs. Lift your heart. One last round. Spread your toes. And then see if you can slowly come into a high mountain position. Feet on the ground, arms to the sky. Take just a moment. One more inhale. And then all the way down, exhale. Ha. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Vinyasa, however you'd like. See you back in downward facing dog. 
All right, from your dog pose, inhale your left leg to the sky. And then peel your left hip open. So stack left hip on top of right, get that nice opening. Hold here if you want, otherwise option to flip. Three-legged back bend, so left arm forward, heart forward. Try to lift your hips. So get any flexion, any bend out of the front of your hips. And then feel the strength in your back body as your front body opens one last round. Awesome, Hannah, come back, regular down dog. Everybody walk it out. So a few rounds, just walking it out in your down dog and then eventually child's pose, knees to the ground, hips to your heels, forehead to your mat. Slow, spacious breaths, grounding breaths. Ah, just notice whatever there is to notice. Feel whatever there is to feel. And next time you inhale, rise up to tabletop. And just come into a seat. We're going to take a seated hip opener today. So I'll give you a few options. We'll work with right first. So left leg can be extended with your outer right ankle on top of left thigh. You can work with either sitting up tall, this is your pose, or folding forward, this is your pose. You could also take your outer right ankle, the top of your left thigh with your left foot on the ground. This is your pose to take it deeper, heel closer to your butt. Legs closer to your upper body. Otherwise, double pigeon fire log pose. So shin stacked right on top of each other. Not your foot on your inner calf, but your outer ankle to your inner knee. And then if you look something like this, you're sitting up tall. That's where you stay. If your knee is level with your hip, you can work with your full so if none of those options appeal to you and you'd rather just take it on your back, you'd rather come into a regular pigeon pose, you're like, I really wanted to do a pigeon today, feel free. So wherever you've chosen to be, big spacious breaths down into your hips. Good, flexion through your toes, especially your right toes, that top leg. And rather than resisting sensation, allow it to be there, breathe into it, soften around it. If you are somebody who has really naturally open hips, you're in double pigeon and you're like, I still don't feel very much. Your practice is just as much stability then as it is flexibility. So sometimes that helps me if I press my hands into the soles of my feet and press the soles of my feet back into my hands. So it brings in an element of muscle energy. Good job, friends. Take about two or three more breaths. And if you're bored, let yourself be bored. If you're anticipating when this pose can be over, notice that and just be with that. If you are in a forward fold variation, very end of your next exhale, start to roll your way up or lift your upper body slowly. And then lean back everybody to uncross your legs. Give them a little shake out. We'll take a reverse tabletop in between sides. So feet on the ground with knees bent, 
pretty much your ankles are straight down from your knees or just a little bit in front. Feet hips width distance apart. Hands behind you, fingers face towards your hips. Roll your shoulders back and down. Puff up through your chest. Keep pressing through thumbs and index fingers and then press into your heels. Lift your hips. Hug in with your inner thighs. Don't let your shoulders roll forward. Keep your shoulders back and down. Rather than letting your head just collapse back, either tuck your chin towards your chest or extend back with strength in the sides of your neck. Take one more deep breath, lift your hips, press down through thumbs and index, open your shoulders and your heart, and come back down. Good job, you guys. Find your way into your hip opener on the other side. It might be a different variation on this side. Try to keep your ankles strong. So that top ankle, you don't want it twisting or sickling. At that point, you're just pulling on your tendons around your ankle. So you want everything nice and strong. You want the joints plugged in so we can stretch the muscle. If you are folding forward, think of pulling your butt cheek back, your left butt cheek back as you take your heart forward. And if you're like, I feel nothing. This feels so easy. Press hands into feet, feet back into hands. And focus on your breath. In these moments that you have to just be in your body, do you choose to be in your body or do you choose to go somewhere else? No judgment, but just observation. This is the time we give ourselves to notice how we are showing up, how we're responding or reacting the patterns and habits that we're in. So we're just creating awareness in this class, in this practice. What is there to notice? What is there to pay attention to that you never even knew was there before? Take about three or four more breaths. If you're folding, try as much as you can to get out of a round spine. Think more of reaching your heart forward and then just relaxing. Good job, everybody. Take one last great big huge breath. And if you're folded forward, end of your exhale, ease your way up. You can roll up or lead with your heart. Lean back, uncross your legs. Give them that nice little shake out. Or like cam shaking, little core with a little shaking. <laughs> and then this time, invitation for one more reverse tabletop, or if you'd like, you can turn it into a reverse plank. It'll be a little more intense if you wanna take plank. So legs extended, zip your legs together, hands behind you, spread your fingers, roll shoulders back and down, puff up through your chest, through your heart. Do not let your shoulders roll forward. Do not let your thumbs and index fingers lift. Push into the ground, lift your hips. Squeeze your legs towards one another. Keep your shoulders back and down. Lift, lift, lift. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Don't let your head just collapse. Extend back or chin towards your chest. One last big, deep inhale. Big, deep exhale all the way to empty. Then come down. Good job. Nice, Sarah. And then all the way down to your back. Hug your knees in and rock it out. Keep your right knee drawn in. Extend your left leg forward, set it down. Supine spinal twist, scoot your hips over to the right a little bit, reach your right arm out to the right and roll over onto your left side. So I usually need to kind of scoop my hips around to feel in alignment here. So feel free to make any little adjustments. Scoot your hips around as much as needed. You want your heart and your shoulders square towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Breathe down into your belly, down into your low back.
Good job, friends. Slowly find your way back onto your spine. Kind of scoot your hips around if you need to. So they're straight down from your shoulders. Give your right knee a big squeeze up towards your right armpit. So keep your left leg extended. Squeeze your right knee up towards your right armpit. Grab hold in front of your shin or in back of your thigh. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Big Buddha belly breath. Half happy baby with your right leg. So sole of your right foot to the sky. Grab hold of your foot. Some of you are on your left leg, so whatever works. Just make sure you get both legs. <laughs> Flex your toes back. Press up through your heel as you pull down with the strength in your arm. So imagine that extended leg. There's a heavy sandbag on top of it. Take one more deep breath here. And then let go. Full body stretch. Arms long. Legs long. Pull yourself apart. And you might notice as you actively reach through fingers and toes, your back ribs lift a lot. If your back ribs are lifting a lot, see if you can press down through your back ribs, even just a little bit. So feel into a more neutral spine as you reach your body long. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, left knee towards your belly. Supine spinal twist. So scoot your hips to the left, reach your left arm out to the left, and roll into your right side. Big, deep breaths all the way down. Job, everyone. When you feel pretty much even on both sides, come back to center. Gotta scoot your hips back in alignment. Your right leg will stay extended and left knee towards your left armpit this time. Right leg extended, left knee towards left armpit, or if you did the other side before, make sure you get this side this time. So squeeze your knee in and up, squeeze, big Buddha belly breath, and half happy baby with your left leg. Good job. So that heavy sandbag on top of your right thigh. Neutral spine as much as you are able to. Backs of your shoulders, backs of your hips, root down. After a few breaths in half happy baby, you are more than welcome to turn it into a full happy baby. Or if there are any other poses, any finishing movements, anything else your body is calling for, feel free to go there. Take any other poses or stretches to finish off your own practice. And then eventually start your journey towards your final relaxation. This is just a little excerpt from Jeff Foster's book. Um, it's actually part of his author's note. It just says, seems to me that all of our problems, all of our suffering and conflicts, both personal and global, stem from one basic problem, our ignorance of who we really are. 
We have forgotten our inseparability from life. And so we have started to fear it. And out of that fear, we have gone to war with it in various ways. We have gone to war with our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our bodies, with the present moment itself. In our efforts to protect ourselves from pain, from fear, from sadness, from discomfort, from failure, from the parts of life we have been conditioned to believe are bad or negative or dark or dangerous, we have stopped being truly alive. The armor we wear to protect ourselves from a full experience of life is called the separate self. But our armor does not really protect us. It just keeps us comfortably numb. Spiritual awakening, realizing that you are not who you think you are, is the answer to this basic problem of humanity. So realizing that who you really are is underneath all those layers, all those ways we're conditioned to show up in our everyday lives, all those ways we have to act like everything is good and everything is fine and everything is happy all the time. That's just taking us out of our full experience. That's taking us away from our humanity. So realizing that you are underneath all of that, that we are all underneath all of that, and we are all essentially one. We are all essentially made of love. So for these last few moments, see if you can, as I play this heart chakra bowl especially, see if you can feel that connection, that vibrating resonance of love inside of you. Let it move through you. So underneath all the layers, you're just pure awareness, pure consciousness. Underneath all the layers, you're just pure love. Allow yourself to connect with that and feel into that for these last few moments. Shavasana. Mm -hmm.
Take a deep breath in and let it go. And just slowly start to bring yourself back into this room, into your physical body. So bring back a little movements, maybe a big full body stretch, or you want to give yourself a little temple massage. And eventually roll to either side. Just find a fetal position. Curl into yourself in a nurturing way. Nice move. <laughs> For just a couple breaths. I like to imagine, just use my imagination to visualize my practice. All the energy from it seeping into my body. Anything that came through for you, really just let it soak in, let it absorb inside of you, become a part of your being. I'm using the strength in your arms, ease your way up into seated meditation, right back where we began. And just close your eyes, gather your hands to your own heart. And bow your head to your heart and acknowledge yourself for being here, for showing up on your mat, taking the time out of your day to slow down enough to feel, to notice, to connect with yourself in a deeper way. Thank you so much for letting me guide you. Namaste. Thank you, friends. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. I hope to see you again soon. Ruby is ready. Huh? <laughs> She's like, now I'll do my stretches. Uh, she does a good down dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bailey, hey Bailey, bye Bailey.